Why are so many business leaders making so many bad decisions these days? One answer has to do with how they are incentivized. I'm Justin Danhoff, the head of corporate governance here at Strive Asset Management. And today I wanna to talk to you about executive compensation packages. Right now in 2023, we're at a point in society where more than 70% of the companies in the S&P 500 tie a portion of executive compensation packages to non-financial metrics such as ESG and DE&I. That's environment, social, and corporate governance and diversity, equity, and inclusion. And today I wanna to talk about one company that is a poster child for why this is so detrimental to shareholders, and that is Southwest Airlines. You may recall that last December, Southwest Airlines canceled more than 16,000 flights. People were stranded at airports during the Christmas holiday season. Well, how does Southwest Airlines incentivize their named executive officers? Well, there's three major initiatives that they list in their proxy statement. The first is recovery response. The second is network improvements. And the third is ESG and DE&I. And so what happened with their executive compensation in 2023? Well, the board of directors rightly noted that they did not hit their targets for recovery response. They did not hit their targets for network improvements. Executives still got a large portion of their bonus because they hit their ESG and DEI metrics. I hope this shows that why so many business leaders focused on areas that have nothing to do with their mission and nothing to do with driving shareholder value can cause real detriment, not just to investors, but to customers as well.